to be honest there is no trick or tips to convert your windows 10 32 bit operating system to 64 bits you need to make any solution bootable pen drive or you need to you know, download a isa file right now I am using 32 bit of operating system Windows 10 and I want to convert this 32 bit to 64 bit. So I will show the simple way. As I said, there is no trick or no tips. This is a simple installation what you do as a normal. So open Google and search for Windows 10 download. Open the first link. Now you need to download the tool. So click on download tool now this is a media creation tool save this file okay it's complete click on this file to open setup so now setup is ready okay now click on accept come on yeah so now check on create any solution media to another PC just check on create any solution media to for another PC and next here select the language and now select this just uncheck first before you going to look, uncheck this use this recommendation option for this PC uncheck this option and now select the 64 bit in architecture ok and then simply click on next so one message will appear because uh, I am using uh, 32 bit and it's saying you are using 32 bit and you are going to download 64 bit so just ignore and ok this message so now it's time to insert your USB drive so at least you need 4 GB of free space select the USB flash drive and simply click on next so it will auto detect your USB pen drive it's better to format your pen drive before you going to make a bootable so I have it already as you can see my pen drive is empty so make the format and now select the pen drive and simply click next so now relax it will take some time okay and it's finished now as you can see here your USB fly drive is ready so now finish click on finish and remove your USB drive and reconnect uh, your USB drive and restart your PC okay so connect your USB drive to your PC now and restart your PC and go to your boot setting like CMOS setting, BIOS setting, advanced BIOS setting features ok and take the first boot as a pen drive so here you can see click on first boot and this is the my first boot device uh, the pen drive USB flash so you, re you re read the your instruction as per your given motherboard instruction so by your setting ok so I am moving upside my pen drive generic pen drive ok yeah upside so my first first boot device is pen drive so now save it your setting and click yes ok ok now it's ready to install your windows select your languages and time and currency format and keyboard so let it to default as you can see here ok us us and click on install now ok so setup is start now and it's asking the product key so I have product key but I will enter later so right now I'm going to skip this click on skip ok and click on I accept the license terms check on this and click on next and now click the custom and install windows only advanced click on this 
okay and this is the important thing you you, you must have to know which drive you are going to install on uh, the windows 10 so partition 2 is my c drive so i'm going to install windows 10 in the c drive so we, we must to format this so i'm going to format the c drive that is partition 2 okay it's formatting select and click on format and as you can see here the total size and free size is same 29.2 gb and 21.2 gb okay so i'm installing windows 10 in this partition so click next now okay this is the installation process going on i'm going to fast forward some video here because i don't want to you feel bored okay it will take some time to install all this thing okay it's almost done okay installation feature updates and the finalizing so all this thi thing is it will install so it will in reboot your system so don't press any key let it to do uh, the window installation so it's now you can see that it's ready getting ready and it's again, again product key and i will do it later yeah so click on do this later and click on use express setting as you can see here click on use express setting okay so your system will restart several times you don't need to press any key just do it to uh, what windows installation going on okay okay look at that it's and now uh, it's asking to who is on this pc uh, click on i own this and click next okay i don't have any account i don't want to create right now any account i will create later so skip the step click on skip the step here you can see okay give the your pc name like whatever your home office or business so enter your pc name here username okay and if you want you can give the password but i don't want to give the password so click next okay this is the final moment is going on to start the windows 10 very soon i will get the desktop of windows 10 okay it's setting some things for me it's showing for you and me okay so as i said it will restart several times you don't need to press any key don't press any key so it's now setting the apps okay yeah that's it i got the windows 10 desktop now the windows 10 is successfully installed into my desktop pc so this is a procedure to install windows 10 your pc so after this you can uh, enter your product key later and you can activate your windows 10 so that's all for thank for watching and if you have any question you can ask me in comments so see you in next video thank for watching please don't forget to like comments and subscribe thank you very much